Let's see here. All right, welcome back. Hi, how are you? Killed my mojo. All right, so the story on this one was it showed up in my P.O. box. Unprompted, didn't know it was coming. Um, and got a letter, and it said, well, let me just open it. So there's the, the letter was written on uh, Anna's wonderful uh, paper here. Do you know what this is? This might be the giveaway. This is a 10 year old ballpoint. Vanishing point ballpoint that someone found that they don't use. So this is the black carbon-esque model. You get that the box was all yellow, it was old. Hey, Lami for life. Um, because they'd heard me talking about it and wanted to send it out to me because they weren't using it. And like, how cool is that, right? So I thought the modern ones use the G2 refill. Someone correct me if I'm wrong, because this one uses basically a Parker style, but it's a shorter one. So this jet stream isn't gonna work that I brought in, right? Cause it's got this extra end cap on it, right? I don't know if I can break that up off <clears throat> um, to swap it, but um, it uses the, the pilot, what is this, BRFN30. But do the modern ones, do the modern ballpoints take the G2 refill? It's a question I have. I don't know. I didn't look. So I can shave this down. Pat Unsorted, thank you for the sub. I appreciate you. Let's go. Thank you so much. Oh, Akri2. Akri2, thank you for the sub. I appreciate you. Hey, awesome. Love y'all. Tessa Murphy, 18 months of subbing. New subbing, old subbing. I love it all. So... That is super cool, y'all. Thank you. It's a huge pain in the ass to do. Yeah, so we'll see. Um, but how cool is that, right? So someone, this just like out of the blue, they heard me talking about it. They don't use it, wanted to send me. Look, look how old this box is. Like <laughs> you can tell this is like some old pilot stuff. <laughs> it's light, it's lightweight because it doesn't have the, um, um, all the innards that it needs for the fountain pen, I guess. Like you can tell it's lighter. So that's pretty cool. So yeah, we'll uh, play around with that. I'll test it out. I'll see what other refills I can I can do with it. I can do that that will fit it. And uh, yeah, that how neat was that? I was very very happy surprised to see this. I'm the Brad addict. Nice. So yeah, there you go. That's that. Um, let me just blast through this little box I got from Jet Pens real quick because I need some stuff out of it. Um. We're going to do some uh, spoke pin builds here in a second. But I just, I've had this stuff sitting in here. I need to get rid of it. This is like, this is like, that's like the tiniest box I've ever gotten from jet pins, right? I don't, I, I just needed something very specific from this order and then had to uh, get to like the $35 amount. That is a lot of tape. Oh, we can read the cartoon though. Let's see if I got a cartoon. Yeah, I had uh, stream problems this morning. Um, it died. All right, let's see what we got here. My first day at Jet Pins. Time to make a great impression. Cute accessory, favorite pin, professional attire, perfect makeup, positive attitude. You can do this, Joelle. Crunch, 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 crunch. Uh, this is the jet pens office, right? So yeah, Joel was ready for their first day, being awesome. And someone was eating Cheetos. Pretty much it. Got your woodshed Kickstarter rewards yesterday. Oh, awesome! I think I got the purple one too. So I have not seen mine yet. Um, this is a thing that I had to get. I don't know how much nib testing I'm gonna do, but if you do, that's the ink you have to have. Mandatory. I'm officially a nib tester now in that I have uh, Waterman inks. Waterman, 
blue. This is the Waterman Basic Blue ink. So I'm officially uh, a nib tester. Oh no, your screen is frozen. Let me check. I'm looking good this time. So hopefully it's not me this time. Got my knock shipping notification yesterday. Nice. So quick update on that. I am, uh, what did I say? I've shipped like 355 backers 355 backers a uh, little less than 200 to go use it in my parker 51 review because it made me laugh yeah like you're required to wear a fishing vest with this ink or have like the goggles uh on there with this ink um like i'm gonna just take this out to the shipping department where i build these pens in case i need it just to screw around with I don't think I'm gonna have to do like a lot of nib test. I don't anticipate to do a lot of nib testing with these pens um, or with these nibs, with these Yovo nibs. I'm gonna do loop checks and make sure nothing stupid's happening, um, and then we'll go from there. So anyway, that's uh, it's just something I had to have. I've been meaning to order it for a while. So Waterman, these Waterman bottles are nice, huh? It's an it's an awesome ink. It's just like I don't necessarily just need straight up blue all the time, right? So. Love that ink. Bought it too much when I was first into pens. I have about a dozen 20-year-old cartridges. Yeah, exactly. Podcast planner. Thanks for the sub. Get a pet. Thanks for the sub. Y'all are awesome. I appreciate y'all so much. Um, I will say the Mysterious Blue, their blue black, is just a straight-up favorite of mine that I use all the time. And it's cool. You can get it in cartridges. Speaking of which, Platinum Carbon Ink cartridges. I'm going to try those in my UEF because I'm liking black in my UEF my platinum 3776 uef nib hold on cheerleaders running wild over here <clears throat> oh vaccine day for mike too awesome so i really didn't need three packs of them but i was getting um i needed to hit 35 dollars for free shipping so that's how they get you so I've been using Platinum's regular black in my 3776 UEF. Do you think I will like, does the carbon black in the UEF work well? Um, I'm hoping it does because now I have, what are these, 18 cartridges of it. So there you go. Order Lamy Gold Nib. I need my, I need to... Do some Lamy nib swap And then, since I needed to hit my, uh, you haven't tried it in the UEF? I'll, I'll report back. I got to finish this other cartridge though, but I'm using it so frequently. I'm going to switch over to these. I didn't have any, and I, I, I just really like using cartridges in those. For whatever reason, it's just easy with platinum. Um, I ordered one of these to give away. So I'm going to do some reviews raffle cartridges i could raffle one of those boxes away if y'all want a raffle cartridge cartridge raffle um so i got this set to give away i haven't done my review yet i have some that i'm gonna uh that i'm going to review but i wanted to add this in um to get to 35 dollars and uh use it as a giveaway item so today i'm giving away it was a very twitch centric giveaway i'm giving away like a pack of statlers and a uniball alpha so um so yeah these uniball ones are very cool apparently that is the ink different in these we were talking about this yesterday with the um zebra sarasa r zebra has this new pigmented ink coming out all these tips are open i mean they're they're covered but must have got smushed on the way so the zebra sarasa r has this new pigment in ink um so it's got this uniball one ink in there i gotta read about it it's all in japanese on the back so i don't know enough like if the ink like um consistency is different so i want to try the zebras because they actually list pigmented like 30 something percent more pigmented on the zebra sarasas so I just need to read about this when I do the review, but this pack, I'll do this pack for giveaway on the blog later. Um, 
this box y'all don't really need to see but it's from brian at spoke i don't i don't know what it is in it it's probably just a, a restock of some parts and pieces that we needed um let me just take a peek and see what's in here real quick the ink the, so the ink does feel different interesting foam packing okay oh cool these are just different parts that i needed um so these are the spoke model fours this looks like um gunmetal and titanium which i needed i had a few in stock that i needed to that i owed people so there you go and then some more leads and some more uh inserts pencil pencil parts that we use so there you go cool all right that's my unboxing for today oh i got one more thing to show you well i'll just show you as, as we go i need to retry the vertex because my first ones were i did i did not enjoy i much prefer the decagraph um but i should try the uh the vertexes again um this isn't really an unboxing but I'm starting to get some of the new colors of the panatic cases in I mean, the panatic cases the knot cases in so this is the clay yeah if the vertex has been improved i didn't like the first model um it was too finicky so i'll try these especially if they have cool materials so we're doing a uh clay and sandstone uh new model of lookout um kind of a more uh you know we mix it up from the wild and the tame colors i really like how this came out it's very uh it's a very chill color but it's very rich like this this is the clay color we've used for that Tallulah in the past but it looks brighter even um, because there's no black um, binding on it. And then the sandstone color was really great. The fodder stack is going to be in this. The new fodder stack will be in this color. And then I'll have lookouts in purple and black, the violet raven colorway. Um, and then I'll have a pencil, an all black pencil case. And I'm trying to hold all these till I get some of all of this in at the same time. Towards the end of the month, I'm going to release these. Um, it's probably the identical clay color, Mike. I think we use the same uh, vendor for the 1000D Cordura. So I think it's the, um, I think it's identical. So we definitely have some fabric uh, crossover. Um, we use a company called Brookwood. And I think that's who Tom Ben uses. So they're a pretty big uh, nylon distributor. So that's where a lot of the rolls come from. So yeah, I'm really, really happy with how this came out. It looks great. So end of the month or so, once I, um, yeah, knock backpack in this color would be awesome, wouldn't it? So once I get the Kickstarter shipped out, um, it's probably another week, week and a half on that. And then I'll have the extra wax canvas cases to put up on the site along with the first batch of these. And I'm hoping to get the other color of Lookout and then the fodder sack and then the pencil case all up this month. It'll be close, but they're starting to produce them, so it'll be good. All right, y'all wanna make some pins? Let's do it. So the way we are <clears throat> selling the spoke fountain pens, I'm able to pre-build a little bit. of what we're doing. So I figured, you know, since I sit here and write envelopes, I can sit here and put pins together too, right? So I'm gonna start with the icon. This is the big one. Um, what's my favorite color combo of the new pins? I haven't put them all together, so I, it's hard to say. Um, the first one I built for myself is a non-standard one. So I chose cyan for my personal pin. So our cyan always does does very well 
So it's going to be cyan, black, which the black is going to look really good with some of the bright anodized colors. Um, uh, storm gray, which is like a, a darker than silver, but not quite gunmetal. And then the purple. So these are the barrel colors. What time will orders open tomorrow? Um, Noon-ish, maybe a little after noon. The black looks good. Yeah, the black will probably be my next one. Whenever we get enough nibs and I can steal a second one, I'll probably do a black one. Because I want a lightsaber one, right? I think that's what they'll be. So these are the first four barrel colors for the big pin. And I have the small, I have the axles and the icons. We're going to go through all of them. I'm, I'm not going anywhere for a while today. Um, so we're going to build a bunch of pins and parts. I just don't have room to show you everything at a time. Black with cyan for the Tron feel. I have a feeling that's going to be one of the most popular ones is to do black with a bright insert, right? Um, and the black is cool. It's, it's not glossy, but the way the finish is, it makes it look that way, right? Where these are, you know, your more standard matte anodized looks. For some reason, the black's, black's exactly the same, but the way the finish is, is, is makes it look cool. So then, we're gonna we're gonna break all these out in here in a second. I just gotta get some space in here. So then we have the other parts, which are the barrel sleeve and the grip section. So these these are what I'm gonna start putting into. Uh, pin they look like they're the size of the dialogue three they're not they're narrower i should get my dialogue three any suggestions for left-handed inks other than noodlers bernanke um anyone have any good suggestions that's always a great question so let me get these away from the camera a little bit further so these are the blue and the cyan um, barrel sleeves, grip sections. So I'm gonna start building what it can do since we have four barrel colors and eight grip and sleeve colors. I'm gonna put together a few of each color, all right? So we're gonna do that. So that's the two blues. That's the silver and blacks inserts and grips. Will there be a purchase nibless option? Not right now, not this round. And then orange and purple. This gray background is definitely better than the orange background. Thank you, Modalisa. Modalisa for that recommendation. And then we have the red and the green. So I'm gonna put together a combination of everything in the icon today, right? That's what I'm gonna work on. So we're gonna do that. Then we have a completely different pen that comes in two styles. So this will be the axle and the grip colors we're starting with. So barrel colors here. Terps21, thanks for the follow. So barrel colors, uh, blue, black, and red. These don't require much pre-assembly. So you're going to get uh, blue, black, and red barrels, and then you can get black aluminum or or titanium grip section. There's, I think there's there's a, like a $10 price difference between these. Okay. How come there's ever hardly any dark green options is a different difficult color to anodize um green's not too bad and that's like at the top of my list for the next batch i hope we can do some so we'll see we'll see about doing that and then so this is the axel s do you have a mixed media sketchbook recommendation that is fountain pen friendly hang on i gotta sneeze y'all answer that question axles are number six nibs yes i gotta sneeze All right, I think it was a one and done. 
and then we have the standard axles yeah brown uh brown is green brown and pink are my next ones i want to do pink is the hardest to anodize out of those three um gold and orange are really hard to anodize so this is the longer version of the axles so this is the axle s barrel and then this is the axle barrel so it's just for a longer pin and th when i put these together i'll show you how the cap screws on the back so they're threaded on the back side like that <clears throat> Yeah, they're all Axle S's in, in that case. So those are real easy to put together. Like I just gotta put the bar barrels together. So we'll do, we'll do those at the end. But I wanna start putting together a few of these other ones. Might have to wait for a pink and green. That would be on my list. So one of the things I have to do is, um, Lost my train of thought. I have to do a thing about a thing. And we'll talk to a man about a thing. Um, yeah, so let's scrap that. So we're gonna put together, let's see. All right, so I'll show you how these, oh, what I was gonna say. I have to put together a video for how to put these together. So I'm gonna work on that um, separately from this. But um, who is the guy that did the coloring pages for your not case color grays in that photo? Um, Alexander, AK Ray. Um, he's awesome. Who sneezes only one time? Yeah, I thought it would be two, but I think it's just because of the pollen. So it's just more random that way. All right, so let me show you how to... So I'm gonna build, what do I have? I have eight, I have eight options and 15 pins. So I can't quite make two of everything, but that's okay. I don't need to make more than two of anything. So I'm just, I'm just thinking what I need to do here. So let's do two purples and two oranges. I'm just getting out all the parts so I have my room. Who was that? Who was that? Saraluvia Sava. Thank you for the follow. Appreciate you. Will the axle come in purple? Eventually, yes. The axle will eventually come in purple. All right. So what we do here. All right. So <clears throat> here's your little uh, little tool. Good morning, Slumberland Studio. You only knew a guy who does a lot of video i need you to do some for me like we were talking about because jeff's about to take a month off so i'm definitely gonna have some some work are you gonna do the standard lightsaber silver blue and black red combos absolutely so those are part of the thing oh yeah if, if i could if i could focus more on the pronunciation let me give it again Oof. Karulesuaba. <laughs> I don't know, but thanks for stopping by. <laughs> thanks for joining us. We're going to make all the colors of spoke pens today. So when you get a pen, um, did I miss your first question? Uh, if you buy an axle, can you buy an actual S barrel separately so that you can swap between links or the barrel so are only part of a full pen? Probably on launch, they're gonna, they're, on launch, they're going to be sold together. I think very quickly, that one's a perfect um option for selling barrels but i don't know that we're gonna do it i just need to talk to brian about that um because that makes a lot of sense evan i just don't know what we're gonna do for that so right now besides the grip and sleeve packs um nothing is going to be sold separately that does not preclude us from making separate pieces in the future and making them available so it's latin word for blue the initials. Oh, nice. K rule E S A, ba. K rule E S A ba. So y'all got me stuck on that now. All right, let's build a pen. So, M, Mister Butstein. Thank you for two months of subbing. I appreciate you. 
when you buy a pin, you're going to get the pin, the sleeve, the grip, the nib, the converter, ink cartridges. You're going to get the full pin set up, right? But you're not going to get the tool. The tool only comes if you're one of those people who wants to change out your parts later, change out the sleeve. We did not get more nibs for launch, so it'll be a few weeks till we get our second round of nibs. So it's gonna come pre-assembled. You're not gonna have to do anything. Like this is what I'm doing now. So we have the cap, the barrel, and the sleeve and the grip, okay? So what we do here is one side of the sleeve is threaded, all right? So you slide it in on the, the unthreaded side goes in. This is what I need to video later, so I'm gonna work on this. You can twist it a little bit with your finger, but you don't have to. Um, but that's what this tool is for. As you can see, it's got these little teeth here and they slot into this guy. And then it goes in. It goes in pretty far. Like you gotta, you gotta work it in there. Is the tool, the tool is metal. So you kind of got to work it until it, it'll get to the end. You don't want to over torque it, but you'll feel it bump at the end and your tool will be pretty far in there, right? You can see how far it went up in there till it gets to the back. So you can just feel it kind of bump into the back there. Okay. And that's it. Then we put the orange since they're going to be matching right now, your sleeves and your grips are going to be matching. Um, so yeah, this will be the storm gray and orange color. Isn't that cool? That looks pretty great. So I'll make two of these and then we'll, we're just going to go through all the colors on here. 18 months of subbing, Jackie. Thank you so much. You would love to sit all day and build pins. Like this part isn't bad. Like this part's cool. So you can, like I said, you can twist it up here a little bit. Um, use the tool now. Um, this is the tool that y'all will get. I'm gonna show you a little cheat code that Brian did especially for me, uh, for someone who has to build hundreds of these. So the nibs will go in later once the order's made, right? Um, if you wanna see the nib, this is the one I made for me. So the nib has the spoke logo on it there etched in. So that's what your nibs are going to look like. I didn't bring any nibs in with me today. All right. And this is one I made for me. Special, special color to show what you can do if you order extra parts. So let me show you the tool that I'm going to use to make all these pins, even though this is the tool you're going to get. Camera's behaving. Honestly, I think the gray background's helping. It's a little more, more light absorbent. So yeah, so this will be like your gray, finial, gray and orange. It just, it pops, man, it's, it's great. So as much as I love y'all, I'm gonna use my special Brad tool that Brian made me. So Brian took one of these, one of these that you're gonna get stuck it on the end of here. The only problem is it has his initials on here. If I had a Sharpie in here, I'd fix that and change. I can change that to BD pretty easily. So I'm going to work on that. So this is going to be my tool to, uh, to make the pens. So, uh, don't get confused. We're not sending you this. We're sending you this. And it has your standard install, remove arrows. Um, it's your standard uh, righty tighty lefty loosey. It's not like reversed or anything like that. So yeah, this is what we're gonna do for a little bit here. Kind of get these prepped, run that sleeve all the way to the back, pop the purple on. I think these would be too fragile to put on a machine. So yeah, that's what your purple looks like. Cool, huh? Seriously, a drill with the clutch turned way down? Yeah, I know. But it's short enough and, you know, fragile enough that I would, doing this by hand is nothing. All right. So let me just keep going here. Then we're going to do 
we're going to do each of the colors and put them all together. Did I get that in there? Yeah. Are they cartridge only or where they come with a converter? They will ship with a converter and ink cartridges. They'll ship with two short international ink cartridges that are the Monteverde blue black. Um, so I, I wanted to be able to tell y'all what ink cartridges I'm giving you, even though like 90% of you may not use them. I still wanted to know what's in those ink cartridges, right? <laughs> because you never know when you order a pen, what the little random ink cartridge is. I wanted to be able to tell you, uh, threadless converter. So it's the K5, Schmidt K5 converter. Good thing your wrist is feeling better. Yeah, definitely. So, I mean, I don't know, guys. I'm just pretty ecstatic with the whole thing. So I guess we'll just do two of everything just to give you a look and me a look. So we got our greens and reds. I need to... Um, I need to work on that copyright free music. I keep meaning to do that. Schmevelin gets a band hammer. Uh oh, what'd she do? Speaking, what is new? Sailor empty ink cartridges? That's new. All right, so this is Storm Gray and Red. Maybe Brad could put the tool on the end of one of those screwdrivers. Like a, um, uh, like the ratchet one. I think I'm going to eventually get purple body with green and orange grip. Yeah, exactly. Red barrel and cap in future versions? Um, possibly. <laughs> We will certainly do red in the future version. Red anodizes so well. Red has been the star of like the spoke pen and the roadie, the way the colors come out. Uh, Dr. Coleman, it's in the 120 range. It's one, two something. I can't remember if we're doing like one, two, five, one, two, nine. You think I would know this with launch tomorrow, but um, we know it's gonna be in that range. So 120 something reverse red silver would be number one it's really um no the um the axles cost less they'll be like in the 80 90 dollar range the axles will whoops i can't put that in yet is that what you mean mike so like the uh the pins without the sleeves are gonna be less Sorry, I know like fast motion and spinning isn't like awesome for the camera. So maybe I'll just lean that off and then just put them back down here. So yeah, what I was saying about the reds is I didn't think I would ever be like the red anodized would be my choice. They came out so good. Um, they just ended up like blowing out well, the, the pen and the pencil. Um, and any roadies with red in it just did super well because look how I mean look how great they look like individually You know, maybe not but man when you put them together like this, it's kind of hard to beat Can we get a red gold Iron Man pin? Um, we don't have like a gold part yet. Um, we do some red and brass in other models, but that's something we can look at down the line for here because that anything that's red, black, and gold in any order, in any combination, always looks spectacular. So this will be the uh, Storm and Lime Green. Hang on a second. Where's my phone? Storm and Lime Green. Yeah. 
Yeah, this is lime green. Yeah. It's pretty, it's, it's rather lime. Any chance there will be a titanium body option in the future? Um, titanium is hard to machine with this level of detail. I'm not going to say no, but this is the challenge, right? Like I'll show you later in the axle grips why that's not as much of a challenge as this is a challenge for the, uh, the titanium. So yeah, this is definitely green in front of, uh, in front of my eyes. Even though I know you're saying it's like hard to pick up. It is definitely lime green. The real problem here is that there is no bad combination. Totally. So yeah, this is when I need the music on the black, on the background, the background. I like your, uh, I like your, your keyboard keycap. Care Luciava. I have two metallurgy de degrees. I understand the challenges. Does not make it any less cool? I hear you. It definitely makes it cool. It just may not make it possible. So yeah, Storm and Lime. You know, let's see. All right, let me need to do... silver and black so this is the uh, kind of uh, what we call the crush look for the pen where we have like all silver um, insert and like silver accents on the pens those always do super well you can you can post links here I have it turned on we have enough mods that get the bad link people out. Giveaway coming? Yeah, we'll do a giveaway at about the um, the hour, the hour time time frame. About the one hour mark. Oh, nice! Thank you for posting that. All right, so so this will be the silver on silver look. And it's not, it's a different, uh, it's a different color. It's, I know it's hard to tell in the lighting. This is storm gray, it's darker, and this is silver. So it does have some shine in the barrel. Giveaway coming on the spoke pins? No, not today. I mean, eventually. We just don't have enough to give away right now. Are the sleeve packs fixed color combinations, or can we pick and choose? Um, you'll be able to pick. I, here, we'll, we'll see if, if Brian texts me real quick. But I think on the sleeves packs, you'll be able to pick like a combination of three colors, right? Or something like that. And you'll be able to pick your colors. Um, TBD, Evan. It's in the 20 something range for like a three pack. I don't want to get that wrong. Because there's sleeves and grips and. All kinds of different parts. <clears throat> Hit me this afternoon. I'll know the pricing. It's getting all input on the site today. Hi, does spoke mean bespoke as individually made for us? No, it means the design characters of the spokes in the barrel of the pen. So it started. That's a great question. Um, it started with like a pencil, right? So it had these. This was the spoke spoke design language now has these types of things and then this is the pen so it's just carrying along that same uh that same design aesthetic aesthetic so that's where the spoke comes from did i get this in i did not get this in Yeah, it's something in the 20s. I just, there's so many different options. I don't, I just, I'm more likely to just say I'm not positive than get it wrong.
but I know in the ballpark that's what it is. So that's your storm gray and silver, which I think is a pretty cool look, right? If you like something subtle, but with a little bit of character, right? I think that's a good look. I love my spoke pencil so much I bought another. <laughs> I thought I saw your order in there this morning when I was checking. I'm going to ship those out today. I'm going to try to... Uh, Y'all keep sending me all the uh, the sound links. I need y'all to email me to those because I keep forgetting to uh, to save them. <clears throat> or or tweet them at me. That way I can save the link and I can go audit them before I put them up on, on stream. <clears throat> yeah, Storm Gray is one of the single most popular colors we make in any product, I think. I mean, they're all generally pretty, do pretty well or else we wouldn't make them, but um, Storm Gray seems to do really well. So this is uh, Storm Gray in black. So this will be the black sleeve, black grip model. Oh, I am going to be one short. I'm only going to have one of one, but it doesn't matter. None of this matters right now because I'm going to have to build more for orders. These are not going to match what orders come in. I'm just building them so I can show you all the colors. That would look slick with a black nib. I'll have to try that. I'm sure I have a black nib laying around somewhere. So that's that. All right. Um, did I not grab two sleeves? Oh, because I already put it in there. I did them both at the same time. Dummy. Is there a limit to the order? I mean, I don't think we're going to turn on any limits. Oh, I didn't screw it in yet. Jeez. That's what I get for trying to do two at a time. So yeah, we're not going to turn on any order limits. We might um, email a customer if they like try to buy ten or something like that. You know, I don't, I don't know. We haven't like overly thought about that because we know we're going to have a restock like really soon. K J Miller, can you buy yours yet? No, but next time you come by, we can make you one. So there you go, uh, uh, black and storm. Uh, all right, see you, Phil. So there you go. So what's the last color I need here? Must be blue and cyan. So let's do two cyan, one blue. All right, after I do these, what color barrel do you want me to do next? <laughs> there's a pandemic you're not flying i hear you man screw that do black barrels uh, black barrel is a good idea we'll do black bear we'll do black cyan purple all right how's that for the order black cyan purple i'm gonna do all of them like i, I have nothing to do let's do black next because i should have done a color first then black uh, but still we're gonna do them all so it doesn't matter um I just want to, I want to see the black because I think that's going to be my next pen. Deal, I've clipped that. You know how it goes. You come over to the shop. You get to walk away with like whatever we build. Right? That's how it works. All right, so this is the Storm Gray Cyan. I have a feeling this is going to do pretty well. And I'm not going to try to do them both at the same time like I did last time because that just ended up screwing me up. Miss G's Crafties, 20 months of Southern. Thank you so much. I mean, cyan's my favorite color. Spoke Brian, glad to see you're working hard. I mean, I have a long way to go to catch up with you. Brian is the hardest working man in the pen business. I'm not even joking when I say that. I'm not blowing smoke up his butt. But he's just, he's really just here to make sure I don't say things uh, that are wrong, which is like 99% of the time. Have we talked about the San Francisco pin show yet? Is it happening? Do I need another blue pin? Hmm. I think you do. Um, so yeah, so there's the storm gray and cyan. I think that's going to be a... Uh, I think that's going to be a popular. Anything cyan is, I mean, 
I mean, I say this about every single pen we have. They all look good. They just do. All right, one more of the Storm Gray. Building roadies over there. Yeah, we've had all of a sudden, me and me and Brian are going to have a meeting real quick. All of a sudden, we've had a ton of requests for the roadies. So Brian is on uh, heavy roadie duty right now. Duty. Um, so yeah, there you go. Um, roadies, roadies have been a hit, and you know what? It's all Brian. Brian's, a, Brian's an engineering genius. Oh, so Kate, I miss. If I miss your questions, feel free to re-ask re -ask them. Uh, so Kate says, so when we order, we'll be able to get a gray outside cyan inside. There's only one inside color for each outside color. So here, I'll show you. I will answer that question after this. How different is the cyan and blue? So let me answer Kate's question first. So here's the blue. Kate, you'll be able to order any one of these colors. So orange, purple, red, lime, silver, black, cyan. And then they all have the matching grip section of the sleeve color, right? So this is what you'll be able to purchase. In addition to this, you can buy a pack of the sleeves that I'm putting together and you can switch out your own. Um, that's a completely separate purchase. You won't be able to say, give me a storm gray barrel with a cyan sleeve and an orange grip, right? You're not gonna be able to do that. You're, this is gonna match for now, and then you can um, add in different parts later to um, switch them however you'd like. All right, so the question is, how different is the cyan and the blue? In person, they're very different. I don't know how it's gonna show on camera. In person, there is a stark difference to them. It looks less stark than this, and I guess I'm used to seeing the blue and cyan full barrels, which I find to be very different in our pens. Um, it's probably hard to see this in here, but they are very different to me. But it may not be, it may not be coming over the um, over the camera as well. All right, all right. So we're gonna do black now. blue and red jayhawk pin you could totally do that all right so that's that was my tray of uh, storm grays so a little harder to see now that they're back in the tray and the lighting's all different but there you go that's the first first batch there all right i need to find a place to put these i'm quickly running out of room icon is not postable they really do look like lightsabers. Well, this is gonna be the lightsaber section right here. Like, I'm feeling like some serious Mace Windu vibes coming. Patrick, 10 months of subbing, thank you buddy, appreciate it. Mace Windus, some Yodas. As a matter of fact, let's do, uh, let's do Mace Windus first and Yodas. I think these are gonna be crazy popular. The black is so clean. Man, it looks good. I can't believe, believe how good the black looks. And y'all know what I think about my bright colors and stuff like that. I am, the black's gonna be my next one when we get more nibs. Purple and cyan inked with Yamabuto. Will those cost more? No, I mean, all the icons cost the same. Additional part, I don't, I don't know exactly what you're asking me. But just the barrel colors? No. Like all the icons are the same price. Go full Sith, black and red. I know that's going to be hot. That'll probably be a, like a top combo. We'll have to do like a later, once we get like more nibs and more sales, we'll have to do like a top 10 list. Uh, of the um, colorways, whichever was most popular. I wanna know if black would cost more than the storm gray? No, no, not at all. They cost exactly the same. So what did I do here? 
So this is the green one. So there's the Yoda saber. Here's some Mace Windu. Thoughts on the paper source bankrupt story, bankruptcy story? It sounds dirty AF. It sounds like they did a lot of people dirty and it's gross. <laughs> So yeah, there's those two. How good does that look? So yeah, we'll have to put out a report once we sell en uh, enough of them. Next version is the double-bladed lightsaber. Don't put that past Brian. He'll do it. He'll do it. I don't know if we could get two sleeves in there, though. It would just have to be all the same color. It'd have to be... You know, you couldn't have two sleeve sleeve parts, but you could have like two sections. All right, all right. So that's that. Oh, that's that. Wow, that was a lot of notifications at one time. Make sure it's nothing important. It's not. It's not. My brother's definitely going to want a red black. Yeah, for sure. Just put a strong magnet in the tail so they can connect up. Brian has the strong magnets. You know that. These would look sick with those metal dip nibs. Oh, yeah. I forgot about that. That would look pretty sick. So, yeah. I mean, just the lightsaber aspect of these black ones alone, I think it's going to rocket these to the top after that i don't know you never know you never know what's gonna like brian and i have made colors that we thought were good but not the best and that have turned out to be like sell beyond expectations so you just never know what people like so there you go that's those colors they look great Someone will eventually come up with a unicorn barf one. Yeah, I really want to get some hot pink anodized, at least try it. Um, I know that's a hard color to do. I would like that. All right, sell a lightsaber collection of three pins. That would be funny. So we haven't done orange. We'll do orange and red here. These are amazing. I'm glad you like them. I'm so impressed with what Brian did here. Like, he is legit amazing. So, yeah, we totally need some music. Unicorn, hot pink, lime green, and cyan. I would totally do that. You know, that would have been the first one I did. I mean, you've seen, have I shown you mine? Mine is cyan, orange, and lime, so it's not that far off. All right, so there's that. Orange and black. Everyone keeps changing their mind every time they see one. It's like, oh, that one's it. Oh, nope, that one's it. Oh, nope, that one's it. <laughs> it's great. Like, it's they pop. They really, really pop. <laughs> I guess I'm just going to collect these. Well, it's good that you, you could just have one barrel and switch around the insides and the uh, sections as you... Um, 
you know as you feel like it right so that's a that's a cool a pack with all the inserts i hadn't considered that it's not a bad idea for sarah that way sarah can uh uh, but you need all the barrel colors, true. All I know for sure is that I'm getting a black barrel. I thought for sure the black would be my least favorite. I mean, like I said, they're all awesome. But right, there's still a ranking. You got to choose. If you had to choose one, the blank is the black is really high on my list. I, I can't actually. I'm I'm really impressed with how the black came out. I, it's a little shocking to be honest. So there you, go. there you go. That's the black and the oranges. Um, are you going to sell sections available separately? We're going to have sections and sleeves available. Um, all the choices are so cool. Yeah, I mean, it's a challenge, right? It's like, I don't, it's like, how do you make the decision to do this? And me and Brian thought about it a bunch, right? Like, what are we getting ourselves into making this decision? And then Brian threw it back on me in a very wonderful way. He said, well, you always run, you always want to tell pen companies what to do. You're the pen company. Tell me what to do. I was like, son of a bitch. Like, you got me there. <laughs> so we're going to make them all. How you like them apples? You like apples? Ah. So that was a how you like them apples moment. And I was like, you know what? That's what I like. That's what I want. So let's do it. Is it more work? Yeah. Is it more parts? Is it more inventory? Yeah. Is it cool? Yeah. Let's do it. So now you know. If you don't know, now you know. How wide is the section grip? Yeah, score one for Brian. That's for fact. He dropped that hammer on me, and I was like, sunk in a ditch. I was like, you got me there. Um, does anyone remember the measurement? I can measure it again. I need to put the blue. You know what? I'm going to short the black on black. I'm just going to make one black on black. Cause I don't want to keep shorting the blue section. I need to trade, which I'm one short on each tray for matching up. Um, how wide is the grip section? Checking. It was it wasn't asked this stream. It was asked before, which is why I got the calipers out and I have them right here. I just can't remember what it is. So in approximately the narrowest area, 9.33 millimeters. Is that correct? Nine millimeters. Brian is smart. Autonomy equals creativity. Exactly right. But like I never, I didn't think of it that way, right? That's why he was getting on me. He's like, well, think, well, think like you talk, right? You talk a big game. Start acting like it. What is the overall length of the pen capped? So I opened up this desk pad today and they included a tape, like a, like a, a Taylor's tape measure. So now I'm gonna be able to tell you that. <laughs> Cause I keep forgetting to bring a ruler in here. So it is, the pen capped is, looks like it's right at five inches. So there you go. <laughs> So yeah, I got to use my new uh, my new free Taylor's tape. Brian is very smart. Like, he won't tell you how smart he is. He he is like he's like the Matt Damon character. I'm the Ben Affleck in the Goodwill Hunting. He's the Matt Damon. I'm the Ben Affleck. I'm like retainer, retainer. And Brian's like. Figuring out all the crap and making it. So yeah, there you go. That's a good setup for us. A 
I'm like, yo, where's my Dunkin' Donuts? Retainer. My boy's wicked smart. Look what y'all did to me now. Way to go. All right, this is black and silver. That's a sturdy looking pin. I hope so. It's lightweight. My boy's wicked smart. Yeah, this looks good. Sharp. So that's black and silver. And that is black on black. Which look great. These are the classics. Not everyone wants unicorn barf like me. Brian's more of an all-black guy. I'm more of a unicorn barf guy. What's its weight versus another common pen? Where were you last stream? Um, yeah, I'll, I'll get all that stuff out again. I kept it in here for this reason. Although I did bring my sailor this time. I don't have another class, another pen in here to check. It's on last stream. Um, I can tell you the weight of this one, but I, I didn't bring my other pens in here. So there you go. Black and silver, black on black. My laptop is dying. Resuscitate. Yeah, I've got those measurements and weights and stuff like that. I just not in front of me. And I don't have a pen in here to test with. But we decided it was lighter than the Sailor 1911. I think was the de was the decision. Is that factually correct? Uh-oh. Black and the future hot pink will look real good. Yeah, I'm going to get myself in trouble with hot pink. It's 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 one of the tougher ones to anodize, so don't get your hopes up. I've been asking for it for a while. But like hot pink, olive green and brown are all ones I want sooner rather than later all right so there's uh silver and black should i wait for the hot pink option i would not because it may never exist right if they can't anodize it well then it's not going to happen what product have you released that made you nervous on launch day all of them i am never not nervous i'm nervous for weeks at a time before I mean, I'm trying to think if there is one that has not made me nervous. I will say one knock product that. I thought was an absolute lock to be good was the Sinclair. Like there was no way that wasn't going to do well. I think it's a, almost the perfect pin case. But that was at a time where we weren't making a bunch of them anyway. So I didn't have to sweat like thousands of dollars of inventory right <laughs> like we do on things like this is there titanium not in the big one but in the small one there are titanium parts in the icon no there is not titanium which is which is this one doesn't mean there won't be in the future but we just don't know right now put this back up here i like it when it's sitting there so you can see it. Yeah, brown and pink would be awesome. Olive green, pink. Yeah, some of the colors that you don't think look great in and eyes are actually killer, like brown and olive green. Like, you know pink looks good. Pink's just hard to do. All right, so here's the cyan. Cyan and black. It's pretty great, right? 
Then here's the blue. Whoops. So many of these colors look so science fiction-y. I mean, it's part of the pen design in general, right? Like this is a, I don't want to, it's not a futuristic pen, but it's a modern machine pen, right? So then you add in the colors on that. It just looks great. Do you know why pink is hard to do? No, it's just like orange. There's just some, some of the electronics that have to happen um, to make the color correct and then color match between sets is difficult i can say make an orange and then they just they'll make an orange right and it could lean gold it could lean deeper orange and then i'll say make me the same orange and if the first one was deeper orange the next one could be gold and they said it's this it's the same calculations right so it's just one of those that it's it's the inconsistency is the problem you can get it it just tends to be inconsistent, right? I'm not saying you cannot physically do it. We're saying from a manufacturer, from a, a retail standpoint, it's hard to match the results in orange. Yeah. But a one-off is easier. I don't know what you mean. Like, I can say make orange, right? And it'll show up. The problem is the next time I'm, I say make the same orange, I don't know what I'm going to get, right? Or if I have two different parts that are done on two different days and they, they it's hard. Like we get orange and it's cool, but it's a challenge. Cyan or blue for Obi-Wan? Blue looks, that cyan looks closer to like the, the movie, but I think blue is probably the choice. Not me skipping breakfast to watch this. It's a damn handsome pen, Brad. Thanks, Doc Krog. So those so this will wrap up the blue what did i say i'm doing next purple or cyan i already i already forget what i promised y'all i was doing next doesn't matter i'm doing them both so i think i said cyan next you love that combo yeah, black and anything looks great. I missed a bunch. How many colors was it? So this is the spoke icon. There's four barrels, and then there's eight internal colors, which is the sleeve and the grip section. So I'm about to do a new set if you're going to be around for a while. I am, um, I'm about to start a new, new set of all the, uh, all the colors, all the insert colors. They are so cool and unique looking. They really are. Brian knocked it out of the park on this design. He when he said when he told me, can you imagine what I said when he told me? Like, I've got this part and it's gonna be removable, and we're gonna give people a tool to do it, and they'll be able to change out the insides of the the sleeve and their looks. Glad you're going long today. My vaccine time is in the middle of the usual streaming time, so I'll be real late today. Well, I'm glad you're getting your vaccine. That's awesome. All right. Blue goes there. And I'll bring out the whole tray. Oh, that's why I moved it, because I was bringing out the trays. Tinker ability is a big plus. Yeah. All right, so there's like the tray of blues. I mean, tray of blacks. You can't totally see everything, but they're there. All right, crimson and white. Can we do white anodizing, Brian? What would happen if you, can you anodize white? Also, it'll be, it'll be um, my grave before I make an Alabama pin. <laughs> Any chance of a dark emerald green one day? There is a greater chance of that than me ever making an Alabama pin, yes. 
Um, this is a great question from Napier Villain. Did you both decide to do a fountain pen, or was it I don't want to do it unless it can be something different? And then the idea hit. It's both, right? Fountain pen as a statement is an option, right? So we've made Brian started with the pencils, then I came on and we made the pens, and we worked constantly coming up with new ideas. So fountain pens always like, okay, what we should do? Fountain pen. Well. Then it's part two of the question. I'm not gonna do it unless it's something different. Um, that is definitely the case. We both think that way. Like it has to be unique enough and not, I don't know if that's the right word, but we have to both feel like super confident that we made something cool um, and that other people will like it. So it's a little bit of both parts of that question. So yeah, hopefully, um, back to the green question. I, I could see us doing green. All right. So I think I said cyan next, so that's what we're going with. All right, so this is the cyan barrel. That's a great question, Napier Villain. Like, those are the things I think about a lot. Like, more than you think I think about. Like, those are the things I consider a lot. Like, I can do anything, but should I do? Should I do it? Oh, what? A blue body pen? <laughs> Welcome. See, we're going to change everyone's mind every pen we break out. So this will be cyan and purple, cyan and orange. I mean, if I was dreaming, I want a peacock green, blue, teal, but that's probably getting too specific. I don't think so. But if we do something, we just kind of don't want it to be a one-off um, anodization. I think we'd like to be able to commit to say this is color X and be able to consistently get that. Um, we do, but I say that we have different shades of blue and different shades of gray that we that we like all of them together. Like, I love the sign. I think it's got to be that one, probably. Like, it's this color just pops, right? It's really, really good. This one jumps off the page. This is for you unicorn barf lovers, right? Like this barrel color and purple is going to have some good matches too. Um, this barrel color. And purple with all the different inserts. Peacock barrel with a cyan insert and a blue section. See, I'd be all over that. I would love that. But we also have to operate at scale for some of this stuff, like anodizing. I love these so much, I think my, I might explode. I'm glad you said that. I'm really happy with this. I think it's very unique in the fountain pen world. Even though we didn't set out to say, hey, let's make something different, I think in the, the end result is that we actually really did. Um, and, like, difference one thing but good and useful and quality along with being different is a different thing and i think we've i think we've checked all the boxes like like we make high quality products as it is so we have to deliver the same thing in a fountain pen too even something like as weird as this one is like as non-standard as this oh man look at this purple dang y'all look at that yipes Yipes. It's good looking. It's good looking. Collab, collab with Ian Schoen to get swirly sleeves when we know how to make the swirly sleeves. One thing at a time. Yeah, I mean, just materials and finishes and like that's why like what ian does is cool and that's why what we do is cool because it allows us to be um 
like always trying something new and different and fresh. Maybe it works, maybe it doesn't, but we can at least try and have fun and, and stuff like that. So yeah, there you go. So that's the purple and the orange. Wee -wee. Yeah, that purple's a screamer, man. Look at that. I might be rethinking my thoughts on my pen after seeing that. I didn't put them all together before I made mine. This is, uh, that's banging. Be like the Kaveco Sports, only more customizable. How much money is in my account? I said, do, do y'all want me to do a giveaway real quick? Y'all have been sitting here patiently watching me make pens. Um, how about I do a giveaway real quick? Let me get off these next parts so I know where I'm at. I'm not giving away a spoke pen, just so you know. But there's a lot of y'all that have been here for a while. Let me at least give something. Let me take a break to get a drink and give something away. Oh, I bet this red is going to look smoking hot. Oh, man. I can't. We're not giving away spoke pens. I don't have any spoke pens to give away. I don't have any nibs. I don't, I don't have already stolen one nib. I've already stolen a nib. Like, I said to Brian, it's like, I feel guilty, but I'm going to have to steal a nib so I can, like, wield it around the power that I have. All right, what should we give away? This thing is pretty cool. One day, yeah, one day I'll absolutely give away a spoke pen. It's just not going to be today. So this is this wild uh, Nema scene. Um, it's like a planner cover and like notebook in here. It's really nice. It's like, oh, it's like got the A5 pad in there. This is pretty fresh from Nema sign, Nema scene. So it's got their A5 pad, the color in there. It's kind of dope. Give away the spoke pen sleeve tool. <laughs> that would be funny. So yeah, this is like this Nima sign uh, cover thing. Let's give away that. Do you have prototypes? That's a good idea. I should give away some of my prototypes. That's more what would do well on this stream, right? Because there's a, like a lot of prototypes that I won't be able to use. Um, that's a good idea. Yeah, I'd give away prototypes. Maybe not a spoke pen prototypes, but I give away some. Oh, uh, where's my giveaway button? Yeah, because I have a lot of parts that I want to be give away. The only, the only part with prototypes is you want, just want to make sure there's an understanding that this may not be perfect, right? And so, yeah, I have so many not prototypes, right? So that's the only kicker when people like tend not to give away prototypes or advanced versions of things, like especially manufactured goods, is because of understanding that it may not be the actual thing and having other people see it, right? Um, here, I'm gonna start this giveaway. Did that start? Okay, so y'all can enter that while I talk about this. The, um, yeah, like you know, like what you're getting, but then when other people see it, like they say, oh, well, look at this, look at that, that, that doesn't seem right. Well, it's like, well, it's a prototype. So that's, something to consider that wouldn't hold me back from giving them giving them away but i just want you to know like where i what i think about those types of things all right while y'all do that we're gonna go into the box here we'll do two giveaways right now probably the only two i'm not gonna have time to ship a lot this week because i'll be doing this so we're just going to do two giveaways today. Prototypes of stuff that's less visible may be better. I don't know. It's it's fun. I like doing it. I just, I do think about things like that. Like, how do you want to present your brand? Like, what does someone think about? I don't know. The more broken, the better. That's actually probably like a very valid statement. Like, if it's close, 
but not perfect is more of a thing than it's clearly imperfect, right? So that makes a lot of sense. So, yeah, that's the that's the prototype thing. But like I'm okay with it. Like so we'll start we'll do some prototype stuff. Could label the pen with an engraving. Yeah. We're going to have um separate from all of this once we get past like the the launch of this, we're going to do a um like a uh, chop shop of like a product page on the spoke design where we do have like small run small batch experiments um things like that that will be a, um that will be a, a something that we add to the shop um this year sometime so to where bright brian showed me stuff that he wants to sell that's pretty it's pretty amazing, but it's not going to be uh, uh, like full product run type stuff. So we're going to have it. I don't know if we're going to call it Chop Shop. I don't know that, that I keep uh, Brian keeps hammering me on that name to come up with a better name. And I, I can't, but I'm trying. <laughs> um, the whole Kaveco collection thing is too funny. I've gotten so much enjoyment out of that. I can't even tell you like I legit think it's hilarious even though it's like such not a big deal i just find it mind-blowing all right i'm picking a winner h hugel h hugel h hugel just won the uh won a recent pinatic members giveaway congratulations all right you need to email me your shipping address even though you just did recently this is how we do it here hello at pinatic.com or the members address if you want i don't care which Reply to this, yeah, there you go, and email me your address because that's the rules, even though I just shipped you something like last week. All right, we're going to do one more giveaway. Got one of the sports with the collection on the box. Nice. All right, I, I pulled, like, I haven't seen which one this is, so I pulled a Lamy box out of the, out of the bin. So we're going to give away a Lamy. Should I tell you what it is before I give it away? Or should we just do the giveaway for the Lamy and then I'll tell you what it is after? I think I'm going to tell you after because I'm mean that way. I don't even know what it is. Yeah, let's make it a surprise. It's a Lamy, right? Could be could be a Safari, could be a pencil, could be a ballpoint, could be a Tipo. It's kind of banging around. I'm wondering if this is not something real in here. <laughs> I'll check. It'll be a surprise for me too. We'll check after and see if like it's not something I took out and put other parts in here and then I'll give you something else. So just know that this box might have random parts in it. It's definitely something in it. But I don't even know what it is. All right. Lamy question mark. All right. Go. No, I'm not doing it before. After. We're doing it after. Because some of these Lamy's I'll take out and then put other parts in the box, like a refill or something, a spare something. All right, I'm going to unscrew these so we can keep cranking here when I get done. I got a lot to do. We're going to be streaming for a while today, Chad, so appreciate y'all hanging out. Thanks a bunch. Uh, I'm going to stretch my legs real quick. I'll be back before the raffle's over. Lamy 2K? It's not a Lamy 2K. It could just be two Lamy cartridges, yeah. Um, I did... Did I make it back? Yeah, 30 seconds left. I did pick me up one of these because um, 
these trays we use, which are awesome. All right, I've shown you the trays. That's where all the parts come in. And like Brian will, let's see, you can put labels on the edges of them. And I need, needed to, I've never had a label maker, but then I have like some of my stacks of trays like this, they'll be labeled on the edge. The missing pins, that would be amazing. I'm not missing any Lamis though. So there's my label maker. All right, is that done? That's done. <clears throat> All right, pick winner, Steven Wilson. I remember that one, no vowels. All right, should we open it up? I still haven't looked at it. Should we open it up? We'll let, we'll let Steven know if he wants to open it up. See, I'm not gonna be mean to y'all. We'll let Steven be mean to y'all. Say open it or don't open it. I haven't even looked. I think we gotta open it though, right? Oh my God, please open it. <laughs> okay. You still have to email me, even though I know I've mailed you something. All right. I'm gonna look through the cracks here. Uh, it's a safari of some kind because I see the clip. It's definitely a safari, but I don't know what kind. Ooh, ooh, this is a good one. It is a safari petrol rollerball. You don't see those very often these days. Look at that. Sticker still on it and everything. Dang. That's pretty fresh. You don't come across these every day. So yeah. Oh, it's ballpoint. What did I say, rollerball? Yeah, ballpoint. These are awesome too. I love the Lamy Safari ballpoints. All right. Back to work, Brad. I'm surprised Brian hadn't texted me yet. Back to work, Brad. Stop me up. Thanks for the follow. Appreciate you. That is rather nice. I agree. I concur with that. I'm glad we hid that until afterwards. All right. I got to get back to work. Luckily, y'all are keeping me occupied while I work. I have so many phone notifications. But nothing important. All right. What are we making? Oh, I want to see the red. Petrol blue is just a nice color in general. Totally agree. Is there a blue barrel pin as well as the cyan? Not yet. So in this first batch, blue, the the standard, the blue anodize that we use is not a barrel. We will probably do that in the future. I mean, I'm not gonna like guarantee it, but I would. That's a, a normal color we use. So there's the red. I mean, that looks pretty good. It looks pretty good. And this is the lime. <laughs> These are genius. We keep blowing goofyguy.com's mind. Brad just sitting there putting together pins. I mean, I wouldn't have it any other way, right? Like, this is just what we do. This one's a little cranky. I'm gonna have to set this one aside. Someone wanted a Jayhawk pin that's pretty close, yeah. Let me see if this is the sleeve or the barrel. This will be the lime green. 
So we'll do purples after these. And then we'll do the axle S and the axle regular, um, which those will only take a minute because those are just uh, barrels and grips coming together. Shipping times from Asia seems to be getting a little bit better. Um, yeah, I'd say in general, it is definitely getting better. Better than we were during the end of last year, that's for sure. All right. So this is like the reverse Slurpee, the red one that we did from the, um, at a package from Montreal to PA, spent eight days sitting in a facility in New York. We have something in our inbox every day about things just not showing up. those looking great so what do we have oh we still got a bunch to do we got silver and black and blue and cyan I wonder what look pretty good silver and black on the cyan probably look good with the nib too silver nib Uh, what's the difference between those that you just finished? Um, one was red, one was green. So that's the... So those are the two I just finished. And I, I did two of each color. Maybe you saw both of the same same color. Maybe. Did I get this all the way in? I think so. Thought you were doing four different ones rather than two of each. Ah, no, no. Yeah, that looks pretty good. That silver and cyan looks good. Part of me wants to do cyan and black to match the pencil. It's gonna look pretty good. Is that silver anodized or raw? It's anodized. Yeah, that green comes up gold looking on the uh, stream sometimes. Do black. These colors are fire. We're pretty happy with how they turned out. All right, so there's the black. That's pretty. That's a pretty clean look too. How does the cyan with blue look? That's That'll be next, next on the radar. Next up will be cyan and cyan and cyan and blue. I'm 
almost done so many of these now I was about to screw that one into the sleeve into the cap. This is thrilling, y'all. Y'all are awesome for hanging out. This is what I would be doing anyway today. Just getting prepared. Um, even though I'll, I'll put together more pins than we'll... By the end of the day, I'm not going to do it all on stream. By the end of the day, then we'll sell. It's at least that good to have a couple of each to see what they look like. All right, so there you go. So this is cyan and silver and cyan and black. Look great. Super sharp. If you do it all on stream, you can make up your monthly streaming minutes. That's the truth. I still need to do more days. So you have to have, I'll hit the amount of time, but you have to have X number of days. So I'd have to pick another day to do this on too. So we'll figure it out. I'm writing this week's post nights, getting to work alongside you. That's funny you said that. So I was thinking, so since Alan brought it up, I've been thinking about, you know, doing more. Oh no. I got, oh, I stole one of these. So I only got two left. So this, I stole mine out of here. So that's why there's, I'm only two instead of three. So. Boop. That's mine. Um, I was thinking maybe we could do like a Monday night journaling stream where you just get your journal and come hang out and write in your journal. I write in my journal, get some coffee, tea, water, adult beverage, play some music, um, and we all just journal together. And we can talk and, and do stuff like that. Um, I know other people do that, but I think – so I this is why I talk these ideas out, right? Like I've been talking these ideas out a lot over the past month or two. And then just something something will come up and it'll stick. That one stuck for like the past few days. I thought of it and then I keep thinking about it. And that's how I know, okay, maybe that's the one thing that I'll try to do. Um, to where we just, you know, I don't talk as much but we can talk together. We can just sit here and write, but it will definitely be like a background music, um, like no unboxings, none, really none of the stuff that we've been doing like today. And yeah, we still weave in the stuff. Like I'm talking, hey, I'm writing in this journal with this pen. How does this pen work? These are the topics I'm talking about. You know, you don't have to talk about exactly what you're doing. You know, also I have a creative journal that I cut out pictures and like collage and tape, like get all that crap out. And like, I need to do that. I need to have time for me to do that. So we could, that would be like an evening time, just sit and chill session. Um, so that's my thoughts. Y'all seem to, to like that one pretty well. So um, I'll work on that. I'll, I'll have to work on the schedule. The first thing I was thinking of is Monday night. I'm not ready to commit to that yet. Um, and it would be like an eight o'clock Eastern time to get past all my family stuff. Um, yeah, we could just call it the deep thoughts deep thought stream so that was my thought so i've been thinking about this for a long time and not knowing what to do that's the thought i had so chew on that for a bit all right since i only have two of these barrels left we'll do one cyan and one blue yeah so you could just do your art you could do your writing you could, you could do anything. It doesn't even have to be journaling, but it'll just be a time to like commit to doing a thing, right? Whatever your thing is, even if you're just watching me and not doing anything, you don't have to do something, but that'll be a time. It's like, I normally journal during this time, or I'm going to practice my sketching at this time, or I'm going to read a letter writing. Like that would be genius. That's what I should do. That's what I won't do. You should. Yeah. But we could talk about that, Jeannie. We could talk about like interesting topics. Like what is the... Uh, what is the, uh, like the writing prompt for today? Whatever. So yeah, deep thoughts with Dowdy. Be terrible, terrible. All right. So this is the normal blue, um, standard blue in the cyan barrel. I'm always drawing when I listen, watercoloring now. Exactly. No way I could write a letter and be on Twitch. So this would be different. Like the plan going into it would be to write the letter, not to talk. Right, so maybe that would work, I don't know. So this is harder to see, right? So this is the blue. So 
So that's what I've been thinking about a nighttime stream. And it would be a weeknight. I still don't think I can swing these on the weekends. It's just too much trying to sort out. They're not at, the weekends aren't as flexible. And then this is the cyan on cyan. Man, I got to stop screwing these in with my finger. What would a buyout cost? <laughs> we write quietly on a video conference together for a set number of minutes, five minutes of chat, then back to work. That's great. Surprised you haven't done orange and orange for yourself. We don't have an orange barrel yet. But I put orange in my cyan. I'm getting extra shaky in here. These pens are so hot. Thank you, Roku Yasa. <laughs> then thanks for the follow. I appreciate you. So there's the, can you tell a difference in these? These have been the hardest to tell on stream. The cyan and the blue. In person, these are the ones in person. There's a much greater difference in the color than on the stream. So we'll have to look at these in the light box um, to get the true color. Like you can see it in here in person in person it's crystal clear which is which is which but i get that on the um on the stream it's it's not as easy to tell so all right we're gonna do purples that'll be the last icons for today we'll do purples and then we'll do the axles which will be very easy to put together they don't even require a tool except me i'm the tool Oh, I didn't show you the whole tray together. I think that's a cool shot. Let's do this. So there's the whole tray. Which, again, the lighting's funky. That silver, I think this is going to do. This is going to surprise a lot of people. I think. It's an iconic stream today. So that's those. Cyan purple looks exceedingly good. We'll see what the reverse looks like here. So these are the purple barrels. Do orange. And then purple on purple. Oh my God, the purple. <laughs> it just keeps on coming, doesn't it? <laughs> the hits just keep on coming. <laughs> Damn it. All right, so I think the purple is going to look good with a lot of colors. Obviously. I mean, I'm a, I'm a broken record at this point, but... I think this is going to look good. Well, no joke, he made it. Yeah, there might be some uh, medical ads we can run during the stream. All right, so there's the orange and purple. That's probably Brian's favorite. I don't know. I haven't asked Brian for a favorite yet. When are these being released? Tomorrow, noon-ish, Eastern. Noontime ballpark Eastern. Oh, yeah. If Brian's still listening, I don't think he is. I asked him, can we do any kind of white type anodization? I haven't heard back from him yet. I'll text him later. You must not be able to do that because I've never really seen anything. Can you do red and purple? Yep. I have that. I have it. I will do that momentarily. These look so great. I mean, I'm really happy. Like, I don't know what to say. You don't think so? I think that's why Karis did Cerakote white? Yeah, it's gotta be something, right? There's, there, it must not just, it just must not be possible or else we would have seen someone do it. And that's why, 
like you said, Cerakote. All right, purple on purple. So they'll be sold out by 12.30 Eastern, maybe. We're, we're limited supply on nibs right now. We're just waiting on our next order. You cannot anodize white, yeah. The white dye is not small enough, gotcha. Yeah, like that's what I, I'm preaching to people. If you want one of these and you can't get it tomorrow, do not sweat it. We have more than enough pens. I'm just sh short on nibs. Um, they're back ordered. We're still like another week or two out. But once we have them, I mean, it's just go time. We have all the pens. So please do not fret if you want one of these and can't get it tomorrow. That's the best I can say. You're new here. You've been following Spoke for a while, but don't know you. Do you work for them? Yes, I'm a partner in the company. My name is Brad. I run a site called The Pen Addict. Um, I do a blog, a podcast, make products at Knock. Uh, do you spoke pens? Yeah, do all the things. So good. I'm glad you follow Spoke. That's awesome. Oh, I didn't screw this in. Theta DK, thank you for the follow. Appreciate you. So yeah, I'm the uh, I'm the spoke pen uh, shipping department <laughs> and hype man. Um, this purple on purple is better than I thought it would be. Not that I thought it would be bad. That's just kind of smoking hot. I, I don't know what to say about that. And I mean, that's just this. These are already off to a better start than I even imagined, and I knew they'd be good. Brad is a superstar. I don't know about that. I also like orange. Any guess on nin, nin, nibs will arrive in plentiful numbers? We're hoping like two weeks, two, three weeks. We're hoping we get them. It's going to take us a few days to turn around the laser etching on them, right? We don't get them pre-etched, so that's an extra step. I'm hoping three weeks, but right now it's the the factory's delayed. It happens. It's always ups and downs. All right. So yeah, purple and orange, purple and purple. Very good. Good. I mean, golly. I even I'm having second thoughts on what I built after seeing all these. Chomping out the bit to buy an FC nib, so you can use those nibs in these. I'll have some of these, once we get more, I'll have some of these in uh, Franklin Kristoff. With like my Sig nibs and my Masayama nibs. Um, but I, I like, right now I like the, uh, the spoke nibs, the, the etching. Um, all right, uh, we got lime green and red. I think these are both purple and red is such a weird color that it that it works because of the weirdness, right? Like it shouldn't be a thing, but like I'm about it too, right? It's never going to be the best seller. Like purple and red will never be the best seller. But it's just such a weird unique thing that it really works in the uh the anodizing thing. Okay, good morning, Evan. Oh, Evan, uh, Evan, uh, 93 missed the giveaway. So he actually can't win, uh, today. <laughs> he's been on a, he's been on a runner. Will you look at partnering with any nib grinder to sell any custom nib grimes from spoke direct? That's a great question. That's something we will certainly explore later. Um, yeah, I, I would not say no to that. I, it's just not like on the, uh, on the imminent radar, but I would not say no to that whatsoever. No, I'm just saying they're Roku. They're not going to be, uh, it's not gonna be the number one bestseller. I'm saying it's going to look awesome. Apple boom is moving to Boston. I saw that. We're going to talk about that on the podcast tomorrow. If y'all didn't see that they bought out, uh, was it Brom Bromfield Brom something? All right. Thanks. Glad you, uh, glad you got to stop by today and have fun so yeah I think they look great together but I wasn't sure 
But look at that. That's pretty hot, right? That's a cool look. I'm not going to lie. Applebaum is in uh, the Netherlands. No, they're staying in the Netherlands. This is going to be a new shop. This is going to be a U.S. storefront for them. It's kind of a big deal to me, to be perfectly honest. So we're going to talk about it tomorrow. <clears throat> if you listen to the podcast tomorrow, we're going to have um, a lot of this conversation, what I'm doing today, a lot of spoke pin talk tomorrow before the launch. Um, the Apple Boom news, because I find it completely interesting. I haven't talked to Yoast. Um, I should shoot him an email. Um, I'll do that when I get off. Did you do purple and cyan? Uh, no, but that's coming up shortly. Actually, when I get done with this, I'm going to email Yoast. And just see if I can get him a couple statements on that. Outside of that, they issued like a, a email someone sent me. Um, like a press release. Or it was basically from Bromfield. Do you run giveaways in here too? Yes, I did them. I did them about the one hour mark. Um, I give away notebooks and pens. What did, we gave away a Nemesine uh, A5 notebook and cover today. And we gave away a Lamy Safari ballpoint. So I give lots of... Uh... Damn, hey, what happened to inventory? I have no idea. Did something happen? I haven't heard from them in a while, but I don't know anything... Brad's always don't overspend on, I dude, totally missed messages, mixed messages. Well, if you come by frequently, uh, Rogue Heist, uh, um, we do, I do two or three per stream and it's always some pretty cool stuff. All right. Pretty great, huh? Pretty good. Pretty good. Pretty good. Pretty great. And Evan always, and Evan 93 always wins. We let people win multiple because there's usually with 100 people, it's just going to happen. So you might as well just embrace it. Oh, just looking through, hadn't seen anything from a while. From a while. Yeah. Who knows? Who knows? Last post from 2019. Extra long stream should get more giveaways. So I actually, I covered that. I think when you're gone. It's actually gonna be less giveaways because I'm creating myself more work as it is with these pins and this pin launch. So I have less time to ship more and more giveaways. As much as I love y'all, once I get to like three giveaways twice a week, now I now have six like things I have to manage in the shipping queue. I forget them all the time. And I know y'all wouldn't care, but um, I uh, that's just my thing. So yeah, cause I, I if you win something, I wanna get it out to you soon. All right, let's skip to the blues, then we'll circle back to the silver and black. black. So I think these blues are going to look pretty good. Giveaways are for anyone. Giveaways are for everybody all around the world. That's the other thing. <laughs> so y'all's Twitch Prime subs help with the international shipping. <laughs> so there'll be days I'll do three giveaways and like two international and one uh, uh, US and it'll be like $55 worth of shipping for one day of giveaways. So that's the, also the other reason why I kind of meter it out. So just know that your uh, Twitch Prime subs are going to a uh, very good cause. Um, so yeah, I'll spend a hundred dollars on week a week on just on shipping if I have a lot of international. But I'm glad to do it. Thank you for the sub. I really really appreciate that, Mike. I don't know if you're still listening. Um, I don't think he is. I think he's getting his uh, thing, but I got his text. So yeah, I real I appreciate that. Like, I'll spend you know easy. Yeah, you Mike. I got your text, and uh, we're definitely going to talk about that yeah no problem I'm not gonna have I'll, it'll be tonight before I reply but just know that I have thoughts oh uh, like we can we're definitely gonna do something 
All right, so here is the purple and cyan. Look, I mean, sorry, y'all. I, I I don't know what to tell y'all. I, I just don't. I, sorry. My apologies. I mean, I don't. I cuss a lot off stream, and I want to cuss on this one. Like, I have a cuss word to say on this one. So here's the darker blue. That is really hard to tell the spoke color difference there. So again, these are the two different shades. This is the standard blue, and this is the cyan. Try a cyan cap on that. Yeah, that would be fresh. So I know those colors are hard to tell apart. Yeah, these are the, they are definitely easier to tell in person. But yeah, they look good. Looks like my burple roadie. Yeah, this is your this is the burple colorway, is this blue. Cyan was used in the Biscayne, which is this color in orange. Uh, we didn't do a cyan and purple roadie yet. Standard blue and purple, yeah. The blurple is gonna be pretty hot. Cyan is sick though. Sick. How does your stream schedule look like? Every Tuesday and Thursday, 10 a.m. Eastern right now. And that's been pretty consistent for a long time. <clears throat> so um, I'm looking to add a day. And I usually only go for like an hour to two hours most. So this is definitely on the longer side of things. But I'm looking to add an evening here at some point in the future. This is better than the reverse. I didn't think I would say that, Coco, but I think you might be right about the cyan. I think if I had the two of them paired up next to each other, I might choose this one. Purple barrel, cyan sleeve, cyan barrel, and purple sleeve, yeah. All right. So that's the two cyans at the bottom and the two standard blues at the top. Hard to tell. more colors then we'll do axles and then I got to get to the shipping department Whew, before I pick up the kids I am running out of time today all right but we're doing good we're doing good I wanted to finish up at least a sample of all the colors so we have we'll do one black two silvers because that's all I got left I think the silver is gonna pop in this purple And then the axles will be pretty quick. You'll see why. It, there is not a red barrel right now. Like, we didn't do red. Out of our standards, we didn't do red, blue, lime, or orange this round. Really find out which Brian favors as a combo. Interested in knowing? I would bet money that it's something uh, in the blue range. Blues and blacks and silvers. Like I was saying, purple and orange. But I was just kidding. No red yet. So we can't do it all at the same time. So Brian's favorite, my guess, is something in the blue combinations. Uh, mostly the darkers, like blue-black. 
Like, I think he's pretty fond of that. And I know he likes the Storm Grays and gunmetal stuff. Red Barrel with Cyan would be pretty nice. That's my favorite roadie model. So yeah, we'll probably do, we'll probably do all these. Is there a Discord for this community? No, but we have a Slack group. I've threatened to do a Discord, but I like to do this stuff too much. I need to do this full time and quit my job. Do it. Start now. Make a plan. Get after it. Are you saying there's no Discord? Or are you telling me not to do a Discord, Phil? <laughs> Boomer Discord? Fair. I mean, have you seen me? Yeah. I don't know that we need a Discord. That would only be if Slack ever kicked us out. Oh, Slack's not great. Don't get me wrong. But I actually, I think that's funny. Boomer Discord is fairly accurate. Oh, Evan, is this the Evan that's the official stationary orbit uh, uh, new co-host? Is that the correct? Is that this is the correct Evan? I was I kept meaning to say that, and and congratulations if so. Slack threading is much better. That's my number one thing. Well, congratulations, Evan. So Evan, uh, that wins all the things in our Twitch is the new co-host of Stationary Orbit. I listened to that most recent episode yesterday, as a matter of fact. So awesome. I'm glad to see that. I'm a boomer, a cool boomer. Yeah. Um, that's pretty hot. I mean... This is this is a color combination. You would be shocked how much we sell of color plus silver. These silver combos do so well for us. I prefer not to use Discord. They're both just like uh, sorry, Toby. Toby's angry. Um they're both just resource hogs on my laptop anyway. I hate them all. All right, so there's the purple setup. I don't love Discord either. I really like threading. I might just go to my grave on threading. Like, topic threading. That's according to my grandkids. That's really funny. <laughs> all right, so that's the icon set up for now. That's a lot. So you'll be able to pick and choose those colors. And then you can uh, have add-ons uh, on top of that. All right. Uh, so these are the axles. Why do the cool kids like Discord more than the Slack? Um, Discord has some really neat integration stuff to it. Like I could run like Pinatic members, we could have a private Discord and I could link it to my membership platform to where I don't have to manage it, right? Yeah, so like Slack has like, Slack is too expensive to be like modular. Discord's made to have add-ons and, and connectivity and things like that. So, stereo sound, 13 months of Sullivan, let's go. Thank you so much, appreciate it. Oh, plus the audio chat on Discord, true. So that's why like a lot of gaming discords will have the um, have audio chat. Like Discord's great. I just don't know that we get any benefit out of it as a pen addict group. <laughs> How does Discord make money? They have um, they have different tier feature tiers and some things like that. But yeah, I don't totally know. All right, so this is the axle S. So this is the short axle. So which is, they're already starting to come in here. So these are the colors we have right now. Three barrel colors, red, black, blue. And then we'll have black anodized grip and then titanium grip, like I said. What's an axle? It's the name of the pen. So 
you get a barrel color and then a grip and cap color, right? So that's what it would look like if you ordered the red and black. It comes like this. And these fit the number six nib. It does not come with wheels. It does not come with music. And then the uh, cap posts on the back. Hold on, I've cross started this one. And so it'll have the number six nib up front and then your two-tone two -tone color here. It's uh, A-X-E-L. It goes with the spokes. That's exactly right. So that's what these are. And then this is the time. Why are we naming it after a figure skating thing? You got a problem with figure skating? And this is the titanium nib section. So that's what this looks like. So you notice these don't have sleeves. They just have the uh, spoke indentions here. So then that's what the titanium will look. All right, Aurelius, I'll count on that. Oh, then maybe I have it wrong. I, prob I probably have it wrong. So here's what they look like with the nib on them. Yeah, it's a cap and the cap screws on the back. Brad is prepared. Mm. Debatable. So yeah, screws on the back. So this is a short pin. So these are much easier to put together, which probably don't even need to bother but I might as well because I'm gonna see how the, I haven't put all these together to see how they look so here's the all black which is pretty cool I do like the two-tone ones though now y'all have me confused so I'm not gonna say <laughs> I'll, I'll look in my uh See if I have it in here. It's probably on our Instagram. You should go look on our Instagram. It's AX, yeah, it's the car. <laughs> it's, Alan's right, it's AXLE. <laughs> like, the, like it should be for this part, AXLE. Stinks for my wallet, just know they're gonna be around. No rush. Just save up for eventually. Yeah. Oops, so here's the blue ones. These blue and blacks always do really, really well. They look sharp. Good mix of color. Whoops. Like that. So those always do really, really well. Prefer pocket pins like the Axle, but I'm going to wait for more colors. Yeah, we'll be uh, launching all kinds of different colors. So what we don't have planned yet is selling extra barrel parts, but we'll talk about it and see. We're going to do the regular Axle next, yes. And like that's how I that's what I'm carrying around now. Is so this is actually the full sized one, and then that's the S, right? But like these can, these are swappable right so i've been carrying around this piece and this pen and if you just use a cartridge a converter will fit in the full length barrel but if you want to swap them how do they compare to a shown i'll have to check they feel light i don't know if they're lighter or not 
I need to remind me on uh, Thursday and I'll get them side by side and we can take all the measurements and weights and stuff. So I've been carrying this around. Yeah, universal converter, standard international, Schmidt K5, the, the very common converter. The big one is Icon and then the Axle S and then the Axle. So the axles look like this. So I've been carrying this my pen around like this and just switching the switching them back and forth. So the axles have a little different color. They have storm gray instead of red. Oops. So same grip sections, titanium or black aluminum. But with the full length section and then converter length barrel and then um if the caps could screw together, I could see it being a spinning pin. That's funny. And then that's when it, it when it's capped. Could you do a mini converter? Sure. Yeah, these are international standard international fittings. So anything that fits that will work. Are Axel F uh, jokes overdone yet? A little bit. But, you know, we'll take it. Spoke, axle, we kind of had to do it right. It's kind of the right uh, the right option. It does look spinnable with the cap. Probably not the titanium version though because the titanium was, uh, would throw it out of balance. Is there a big weight difference between the titanium and aluminum? I should have wrote down the measurements I took the other day. <laughs> And because they're great questions, I just don't remember it off the top of my head what the difference is. That's why we have this. So, so this, oh, wait. So we want, so titanium 0.62 ounces, aluminum 0.44 ounces. Almost two ounce difference. Brad, thank you for all the wonderful things you bring. Inspiring conversation, amazing inventive pens and pencils. I'm so grateful. I'm just grateful for y'all, like that y'all like to talk about this stuff, right? I gotta, I, I love doing this, right? Like I legitimately love what I do. And I'm glad, like the favorite thing I can do is share it with other people, right? What would that be in grams? I don't know. Two. Uh, just have a converter. Let's see. All right, grams. Grams. So this is the all. This is the all aluminum in grams. Twelve point six. And. 17.9 so that's why i keep the scale and scale and um calipers in here now <laughs> see i'm asian we know these things that's funny So again, um, storm gray barrel in the standard, red barrel in the S. Again, this blue black always looks so good. They do. They, you can totally feel the titanium difference. Will these be live tomorrow too? Yes. But they use the same nibs, right? So that's the kicker for tomorrow, right? These are the same nibs, same group of nibs for these. Amargana, thank you for the follow. Oh, Gen Kongs. Did I miss that follow? I think my alerts got turned off by my, by myself. Do they come in ballpoint too? They do not. We have a different pin that comes in ballpoint. It's called the Roadie. 
think we're sold out right now, but they should be back this week or next week. So we have a ball point called the roadie, which is done really, really well. I don't have my roadie in here. All right, Coco. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So that's a look at what's launching tomorrow. It's a lot of stuff. It's a lot of stuff. Very happy about it. I'm glad y'all are excited about it. Um, I have the Panatic box pin with the titanium grip. That, those are um, sandblasted, I think, on the, the box. Those are cool. You only have one fountain pen and don't like it very much. So we sell a gel ink pen that fits the Uniball Signo DX. That I do have in here for Spoke. If you follow Spoke, you know that. So this is the... Uh, That's my pen. Yeah. But check out the roadie is the ballpoint. We don't have these. All these new models are just fountain. You know, could we do something to modify for an eventual product? Who knows? That's not even on the, uh, the roadmap right now. Was there an answer to the cart sniping? What do you mean? I, yeah, I, I guess there's not an answer because I'm confused on the question. Put this back on my pretty face. Hey, how you doing? Rody is my favorite non-fountain pen ever. I am thrilled with the feedback on that pen. That People just love that pen, as do I. Launching multiple new ones at once is amazing. Is it? <laughs> As the person building in them and packing them and having to tell everyone, yeah, we're sold out <laughs> for a few weeks. <laughs> is it? It is. It is. Will someone else be able to buy a product you put in your cart? If so, when you get to check out, you can be sold out. Oh, I see what you're saying. I have no idea. Um, spokes on Shopify. I don't know what type of like cart protection they have. Or if we have it implemented. That's something like me and Brian can check tonight. Will there be roadies in stock tomorrow? No, but maybe next week, like soon. Brian's billing them now. Are the grips interchangeable on the Icon and Axle? No. I don't think. We'll find out, won't we? I don't think. I don't know. Can you add channel point redeem rewards? Yeah. That's been on the, sh the the list for a while. We've been doing betting on how many words Brad will misspell when he um, when he addresses envelopes. So that's been a fun competition. I'm testing that now, Evan. No, it doesn't fit. It acts like it wants to fit, but it doesn't. That was a very uncertain no to your to your cart sniping question. I yeah, I don't know the answer. But I like that's something I know Shopify has some features like that. I just don't know what we have implemented in the store because we've never had a thing like this before where it might be an issue. Um so we can look at it. I don't know if that's even something like we can like just turn on or how that works. So um oh what I was umming was I was gonna write that down on the list. I've moved all my stuff. Oh, here it is. It's under all y'all's giveaway items. Let me, uh, I'm gonna write that down. Is there a titanium grip spoke pen? There are a lot of titanium grip spoke pens. Like this one that I'm using here. Like my gel, that's a titanium grip. This one's shiny titanium. We have a sandblasted titanium. Um, the pencils have sandblasted titanium. That's titanium. So yeah, we have plenty of titanium grip options. That's what I was gonna do, Jeannie, is write down a question for um, shopping cart sniping. Sandblasted titanium. Is that, what did I say? 
Yeah, was, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I don't have one in here. They look good, though. Yep, I don't have one in here. <clears throat> Does the roadie have sandblasted titanium? Is that the current question? I'd have to think which one, if we have it. Uncertain. All right. Faded anodized roadies. That's my fave. Those came out good. Not going to lie. All right. It's 1230. Um, I feel like I could keep going. Like I'm energized. I could keep going. The problem is I actually have legit stuff to do. And I got to go get the kids at like 215. So like I'm like pinched for time. Um. Oh, yeah, Evan, I want to verify that this afternoon on the site setup. So hit me this afternoon. Yeah, I'm going to eat lunch first. Fort Plano laser fight. Thank you for the follow. Parker Jotter Retro 51. Retro 51. And I love the Jotter. I don't think that one's close. The Roach, I love the 600 ballpoint. I love it. I think it's great. Got to plan my purchase now so I don't have to worry about cart sniping tomorrow. Yeah, I, I hear you. Like, I just... I'm a little worried. I think it's it's going to be fine. Um... It's going to be fine. Just know that we're going to get more nibs. You'll get all the things. That's the, I use that blue roaching as well. That's my favorite. The customer complaints get nasty. I mean, they can only get X amount of nasty. That's, I'm okay with that. Like, it shouldn't be bad. Um, can we Americans buy from Amazon.jp? I have. It, it, it hasn't been straightforward. Like some things I've been able to and some things won't ship to the U.S. Like I've ordered some books and magazines from there, but I haven't been able to order like stationary stuff. I meant to tell you, Brad, I got a Y Studio portable brassing pin based on how much you like it, and I love it. That's good. I'm glad. I'm glad to hear that. Like, I always get nervous, like when I like super love a product, like like where I'm to like the fawning over a product point and what people will take from that. Um, and that's one of them, right? That's one of the pins. I just it's a top five pin for me, but it's also not for everybody. So you know, how do you like balance those things? Good. I'm glad you like it. It's, it's really great. It's really, really great. All right. I'm going to wrap it. I'm going to eat lunch. I'm going to go ship a few things, try to get ahead of tomorrow's game. I haven't even written the podcast yet tomorrow, but I probably don't have to, but I'm going to anyway. And then, uh, get a good night's sleep for tomorrow. And, um, I'm not sweating tomorrow other than, People not being able to get what they want, but I promise you, it's going to be okay. You're not going to miss out on anything. You just may not be able to get it tomorrow, but we got plenty of what you want. All right? Be good. I'll talk to you all in the morning. Thanks for hanging out today. This was really fun. It was uh, awesome. We'll do this more. Chew, chew on that um, journaling thing. Um, night stream. I'm... I'm pretty positive about that. So let's think about that some more. So give me some feedback um, if you got it. And we'll, we'll see about doing that. All right. Talk to y'all later. Bye.